Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to create a physically accurate perspective grid in two minutes or less, give or take. To do this, you'll need at least three of the four things listed here. First, you'll need Trimble SketchUp, which is free and very easy to use. Next, you'll need either Photoshop or an equivalent art program. You'll also need Carapace or the Perspective Tools plugin for Photoshop. If you're not using Photoshop, you will need to use Carapace, which is Windows only. Everything else is Mac and Windows compatible. And everything listed here, with the exception of Photoshop, is free. Download links for the other programs will be in the description. The first thing we need to do is open SketchUp. SketchUp is really great for locking in environments or modeling for concepts, but it's also nice to create a base for your perspective grid. So what we'll do, just create a few cubes as reference points. Nothing too fancy. And what this is going to do is allow us to get an angle and choose our perspective. So what we'll do is we'll just move this around, zoom in, until we can figure out an angle that we want. So I'm going to choose something that's sort of a three-quarter, three-point perspective image. We'll go with that. We'll export 2D graphic. We'll say this is test. Come to Photoshop. Open that up. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer and just make the horizon line just so we have a reference point. Next, what I'm going to do is select the pen tool and then trace along converging lines in the image. So create a line there and then on this other side over here that runs parallel, create another one with the pen tool. Then what I'll do is with the Perspective Tools plugin, just click Create. And what that'll do is run through its thing And now you have your vanishing point and perspective lines. Let's move this down here. What I'll do is increase the opacity so it's easier to see. So then what we, next we need to do is do the same thing with other lines in the image. So create a line here with the pen tool. And then up here, create another one. Then click create. Does the same thing. We'll just increase the opacity on that one as well. And now because this is three point, we'll do the same thing with the verticals. And make sure when you select these lines that you do them on opposite sides of the image or as far away as you can, otherwise it won't be as accurate. Click Create. And there we go. So we just, if we wanted to, Say you wanted to use this as sketching for a concept, you just create a new layer, fill that in with white, and you have your three-point perspective grid that you can draw on. What you can also do with this is say you want these lines to be a different color. Using the plugin, you can choose in here, and it'll do it for you. So you have your Z, X, and Y axes. Now this is just one of two ways you can do this. This is probably the fastest way if you have Photoshop. Carapace is another option, which I'll show you in a second. Either one is going to give you a physically accurate perspective grid if you're using SketchUp as a base, or even a photograph. You can use that as well if you like the perspective in a photo you found. Here we are in Carapace. The first thing you're going to notice is there's no UI or anything to indicate how you're supposed to use it. So what you're going to want to have to do is hit F1, bring this up. It tells you everything you can do in this program. So the first thing we're going to do is hit Control-I, give us the option to load our image. And then what we can do is zoom in and move this around. And using right click, we're going to do the same thing we did in Photoshop. So we're creating trace lines that converge. And see, it's a little bit off, but fairly accurate as to where our horizon line is going to be. So once we've created those lines, if you notice in the upper left hand corner, it tells us how to create the vanishing point intersection. So just hit Control, Shift, and we'll hit 1 puts a vanishing point in our perspective lines right where we want it. Now what you can do as well is hit up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to change the density. So what we're going to do is do the same method for the other vanishing points. Let's do a trace line here. Another trace line up here. And then control shift and 2 for our second vanishing point. 
So you can zoom out pretty far and you can see just exactly where that vanishing point is. Now if it's not completely horizontal, you can see it put a horizon line in for us and it's actually dead on so we don't have to worry about that, but if it wasn't um, you can hit H on the keyboard and choose where your horizon line is and it'll put it there for you. So just center this on the horizon line and there you go. And so we'll do the same thing for the third point. Create some more trace lines. Control Shift 3. And there's our third point. And we'll just change the density of this as well. We don't need as many. As you can see on the left hand side, there's plenty more options here you can learn how to use, but this is the gist of how to match the perspective in an image. You can do this with a SketchUp image or a photograph like I said before. And so what we want to do once we have this is just hit Control C to copy that grid. We'll go back into Photoshop, open the test, and then paste that on there. And then what you can do is just set this to multiply. And then essentially you have the same thing we did before, but using Carapace instead. Also, just an additional tip, you can create your own perspective grid from scratch in Carapace if you wanted to, which is really helpful. So you can hit one on your keyboard, and it'll put a vanishing point there. Then you come over here where your cursor is and hit two. It'll put another one there for you. You know, you can drag that around if you wanted to. And if you wanted to make sure the horizon line was even, you can hit H like I showed you before, and it'll even those out for you. And so you can do this up to nine vanishing points. So hit three here, and then you can get a third vanishing point. Super easy, and it won't be as physically accurate as if you're using a base, but it's not a bad way to set up a perspective grid manually if you wanted to have some sort of extreme perspective or you just didn't care about it being completely physically accurate. Hopefully this helps you work out how to get better perspective in your images. You can either use these methods to start an image so you have something to sketch into, or you can try and match the perspective on a sketch you've done so you can take it to a higher quality level or finish. Anyways, best of luck and hope this works for you.